Hey guys, so um, I've run into this issue where um, I'm transferring Premiere Pro projects between my desktop computer and my laptop computer, and then when I do that, um, I would get this weird issue where most of the uh, video files would um, load properly and would relink properly, but there were a few that won it, and uh, no matter what I tried to do, um, I could not get it to... Um, you know to uh, to link so I would do this I would hit locate and then go to um, my project file camera one go through the weird Sony menu structure and it would find the clip and click on that and then oh this file import failure the importer reported a generic error which Premiere Pro is being uh, always so helpful which that error tells me a lot, not. Okay, so what I've done is open up bulk rename utility. And then what I'm going to do is change the extension. So I'm just going to make it lowercase. Um, select all of them. And see, it's just going to change it to lowercase right here. And I'm going to hit rename. And it's going to ask you to confirm. Do OK. That's really good to know. And then um, I'm going to try to relink. So I'm going to select these four video files, link media, locate, and go to, I don't know why Premiere Pro doesn't automatically um, open up to, um, you know, the folder you had previously uh, chosen. It always goes to that root document folder, um, which is really annoying. But anyway, oh, 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 um, no, that did it. Okay, good. I thought maybe I would have to... Um, deselect this uh, file oh file extensions already deselected right here so that's good you want to make sure you want to deselect file extension I think uh, last time it gave me some issues because it's a lowercase uh, dot mp4 instead of uppercase dot mp4 so I'm gonna do that locating media and boom they've reconnected so that's really all there is and the other files stay connected as well you don't have to relink them or anything so changing the uh, file extension from uppercase to lowercase does not affect the video files that are already in your project so anyway hopefully that's helpful to you as it was to me